In this video, we're going to look at roots. We're going to look at how roots are used for obtaining water. We're going to look at the different root systems. We're going to look at some of the ancillary structures found in roots, as well as the internal structure of the root. So as we know, all plants need water. Aquatic plants are generally able to absorb water through their whole structure because they're in water. So they don't need as a complex root system as terrestrial plants. Terrestrial plants have a root structure below ground and the main function of this root structure is one, to obtain water from the surroundings and two, to provide stability for the plant. For roots to get as much water as they can, they have a branching network to increase their surface area. So by having a large network, we have a large surface area. And to further increase this surface area, they have little tiny cells called root hairs, which are little filaments that stick out from the root and again increase that surface area, therefore increasing the amount of root that is in contact with the dirt around them. There are two types of root systems. Some plants have fibrous root systems, and these is a vast network of roots that are close to the surface. Other plants have a single tap root that goes deep into the soil and then has multiple lateral roots coming out of the side of this one tap root. In some plants, this tap root is used for food storage for the plant. Uh, for example, in the root vegetables that we harvest from the ground, including carrots, beetroots, parsnips, and other things like that. Some of the ancillary structures include aerial roots, uh, sometimes called supportive roots or buttress roots, and these are above the ground rather than in the ground, and offer extra support. In some cases, and we know in mangroves, these aerial roots can also be used for gaseous exchange. The vast majority of plants have root systems which are covered in mycorrhiza. Mycorrhiza are a fungi that lives in the root system and they have a symbiotic relationship with the plant and provide the plant with additional nutrients. Another ancillary structure is rhizoids. Rhizoids are not cr true roots. Uh, they're hair-like filaments that act like roots uh, but have a different structure and they're found in brifophytes which include mosses and liverworts. Now look at the internal structure of the root. Now in the center of the root, we have the xylem for transporting water and the phloem for transporting sugar. On the end of the root, we have the root cap and its job is to protect the zone of elongation, which is just behind the root cap, which is where the cell division and growth occurs in the root so that it can stretch out into other areas. And then around the root to provide structure and protection is the cortex and the epidermis and behind that zone of elongation is where you'll find the root hairs starting. In this video we've looked at why terrestrial plants need a root structure to obtain water including the increasing of surface area through a network of roots and root hairs. We've looked at the two different types of root systems, fibrous roots and tap roots, as well as some of the ancillary structures associated with roots and the internal structure of the root with the zone of elongation being protected by the root cap.